Diyos. Maraming salamat po sa buhay at lakas na aming tagnay. Sa liwanag ng kaisipan at sa pagkakataon maipagpatuloy ang pag-aaral ng mga kabataan. Gabay ang po ang bawat isa sa amin. Ano man ang bahagi na nagagambanan na huwag maging maayos at matagumpay ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral na aming gagawin sa araw na ito. Patawarin po kami sa aming mga pagkulang at pagkakasala. At sa aming paggawa, ikaw po ang aming makasala. Amen. Good morning, students! Welcome to our Valenzuela live streaming. This is going to be another exciting day to learn and discover about heat, work, and energy. Before we start, please keep in mind the following reminders. Quarter 4 in the science module, and our objective for today is based on the most essential learning competency, and that is to explain how heat transfer and energy transformation make heat engines work. Last time, we have discussed the relationship between heat and work. We have learned that refrigerator and air conditioner uses heat pump to make heat flow from lower temperature to a higher temperature, which we called as a non-spontaneous process. Because again, the natural flow of heat is from higher to lower temperature. Today, as we continue with our lesson, we will be focusing on how heat can be converted into work. Have you ever wondered how cars and motorcycle works? How those gasoline or diesel you feel in your car tanks was converted into mechanical energy? In order for us to know this, we need to understand first the mechanism behind these processes. That is through heat and work. Work can be easily transformed into heat. One very good example of it is eating, which is a method of work due to tearing and chewing food particles. Eating can be completely converted into heat, which is the product of mechanical and chemical combustion and absorption of nutrients occurred in the digestive system. Reversing the process is impossible such as changing heat completely into work. To make it possible, we have to convert some heat to mechanical work. This would happen only using heat engines. Heat engine is a device that changes heat energy into mechanical work. But how does it happen? What implication this will bring to the environment? Before we answer all the questions, there are three things you should remember in a full cycle of an engine. First, heat is added, which is relatively high temperature. Second, some of the energy from the input heat is used to do work. Lastly, the rest of the heat is removed at a relatively cold temperature. One example of a heat engine is the four-cycle stroke of gasoline engine. For motorcycles and cars, 
from lawn mowers to generators, a four-cycle stroke engine powers a variety of different kinds of equipment. Most vehicles are four strokes, powered by either gasoline or diesel fuel. What is this four-cycle stroke? To understand, let's study the diagram. From the name itself, it undergoes four strokes. The first stroke, or also known as the intake stroke, is where the piston travels downward and the mixture of gases filled in the cylinder. The second stroke, or also known as the compression stroke, is where the piston moves upward and the mixture of gases is compressed in the fractional amount. At the third stroke, also known as the power stroke, the piston moves downward and the mixture of gases was ignited by the spark plug. This will increase the temperature of the mixture. This stroke produces the mechanical work. Lastly, the fourth stroke, also known as the exhaust stroke, the piston moves up, the exhaust valve opens, and the burnt gas was expelled out through the exhaust valve. Let's repeat the cycle. First, the intake stroke which filled the cylinder with mixture of gases. Next, the compression stroke that compressed those gases. Then, the power stroke which creates the power output. And finally, the exhaust stroke which releases burnt gases into the atmosphere. Now, what do you think is the effect of this exhaust gas in the environment? Correct! This gas will constitute to the air pollution and eventually it causes thermal pollution. As a student, how can you help to minimize the effects of thermal pollution? There are so many ways for you to do that. So, I will leave that question to you and you can share your answers to your subject teacher during your follow-up discussion. Now, let's see if you have understand our lesson very well. Just key in the letter of the correct answer. You have 10 seconds each number to answer the question. Ready? Number 1. What is the function of a heat engine? A. It converts chemical energy to mechanical energy. B. It converts thermal energy to mechanical energy. C. It converts mechanical energy to chemical energy. D. It converts thermal energy into chemical energy. The, the correct answer is B. Number 2. What is the correct sequence of four cycle stroke of gasoline engine? A. Intake, compression, power, exhaust. B. Intake, power, exhaust, compression. C. Power, exhaust, compression, intake. D. Intake, exhaust, compression, power. The answer is A. 3. What causes thermal pollution? A. Exhaust of different vehicles. B. Exhaust from different industrial engines. C. Degradation of water. D. All of them. The answer is D. If you get all the answers correct, you did a great job. Let us now summarize our discussion today. Thank you 
your grade 9 learners for your active participation all throughout our science discussion. Teaching you and sharing with you my knowledge in Science 9 was fun and enjoyable. Once again, this is Mom Cherry, your science teacher, until we meet again on the next episodes of Valenzuela Live.